Let's take a look at the expander in Beacon Mic. Now, you may have heard of a gate before. An expander is a type of gate. So a noise gate essentially says when the signal is at this level, open the gate and let all that signal through. And when the signal is below this level, close the gate and essentially mute everything so you can't hear it. It came from things like having a noisy, buzzy guitar and somebody wanted to say, hey, you know what, when I'm not playing these big, loud amps, I don't want the thing sitting there on my recording going in the background. So they made noise gates to do things like cut those things out. Now, when we apply it to voice, we want it to be nice and smooth. So a gate typically opens like a Star Trek door, like straight up, straight down. It's just on or off. We want something a little bit more fluid than that. And that's where an expander comes in. An expander can open more slowly and ramp up the amount of volume that it lets through in order to catch things like T's and S's. So you don't get a chopped off cut feeling. It feels a lot more natural kind of riding in and out of the sentences that you're saying so you don't get it cut off. Let's take a look at the actual expander inside Beacon Mic. So what you'll see here is the level that's going through when I'm talking. And if the level is green, it means that it's coming through and you can hear it. If it goes to yellow and then red, it's getting quieter and then obviously red is turned off. So when I stop talking, you'll see that level drop all the way down, way down here. Well, you might ask yourself, if this is the threshold that I'm setting that's determining whether or not the gate is open and closed or the expander is open and closed, why do I have it up near minus 50 here, not down by minus 70 or minus 80, where it's quiet when I'm not speaking? Why would I not put it way down there? Well, when I'm talking, it's a way up here, it's nice and loud, but there's another thing I do, which is type on my keyboard. When I type on my keyboard, but don't speak, you'll see a different level. And you'll see that that level is just below where I've set my threshold. And that allows me to cut out most of the keyboard noise when I'm not talking. Now, when I am speaking and I'm over that level, everything that comes into the mic is going to come in. We can't magically get rid of that stuff, but we can make sure that it doesn't come through when you're not speaking. So you can try setting your threshold at either the very low level and then let everything above your room noise or your, your noise floor come in. Or you can do something like I did where you try and cut out the keyboard clicks. The expand amount that you see here essentially is how closed is the expander when I go below that threshold and how fast does it happen? It's kind of a mix of attack, release, and things like that that we'll show you on the advanced tab. I tend to set mine around 70% because I do like it to be pretty quiet when I'm not speaking. And I also have noise suppression running on the mic so you can't hear any fans or anything while I am speaking. What I'm trying to avoid is going from absolute dead silence to sort of a shh noise coming through in addition to my microphone. That way you're going to get this quiet hiss, quiet hiss back and forth, and it sounds jarring and unnatural. So depending on what the background noise is in your room, you may need to set that expand amount less or more. Less would mean that you're getting more kind of background noise all the time, but that may be a good compromise that makes the overall experience just sound a, a little more natural as things go through. As you go into the advanced settings, it's basically just that simple expand amount broken out into its settings. So the ratio is how much does it, uh, uh, does it turn down the sound as you're going below your threshold. So it's a ratio like two to one, four to one, six, 18, that kind of thing. Your attack is how fast do we open back up as we come across the threshold. And you usually want that pretty quick. And then the release is how long do you want it to kind of wait and tail off as it's diving below that line. You want a little bit longer of a release because you don't want your sentences to sound clipped at the end. You want it to come through nice and naturally. But you know what? For me, I actually just use the basic mode because I find when I set that keyboard amount and then I set my expand amount the right way, it just works great for me and I like to use it like that.